Don't buy crucible tongs before watching this video. A lot of options on the market can be flimsy and dangerous for you and your project. Stick around to see how I made these tongs. Crucible tongs can be designed in many different ways. It's very important to pick a design based on the crucible that you would like to use. They have to be sturdy to provide a safe grip and smooth pour. I picked sturdy tong designs that can cradle a number three or number four crucible safely and comfortably. Plus, they can be made in an afternoon from ordinary mild steel flat bar stock. Let's start with the lifting tongs fabrication. First, I cut a quarter inch steel flat bar to four foot length. I base all of these measurements on the distance from the crucible end, so that you're aware. Then we bend both to 20 degrees at 16 inches. Now we twist the flat bar to accommodate the pivot. To do that, we heat up the metal so it twists more easily. We put the piece on a bench vise and twisted both at 18 inches. Then we twist both at 38 inches and bend to parallel with the other end. We need some jaws to securely cradle the crucible. To make the C shape, we are using hammer and anvil. We cut the curved metal piece at six inches. Crucibles are fragile and should be treated like glass, so the sharp edges of the jaws shouldn't touch the crucible, ever. We round the corners of the jaws with a bench grinder. This is an important step for protecting the crucible. Jaws are done, now we weld them to the tongs, making sure that we clean up any weld spatter that could damage the crucible. The tongs should pivot like a scissor. We drill a hole at 22 inches and test fit the hinge bolt. Looks good. Let's build the pouring tongs next. For the pouring tongs, we cut two 32 inch long pieces of quarter inch steel flat bar and bend each to 20 degrees at six inches. We twist both at eight inches and then twist again at 17 inches and bend to parallel with the other end. We form the jaws as before, but this time we weld the jaws parallel to the tongs. To make them work like a pair of tongs, we drill a hole at 12 and a half inches with a 5 16 inch bit. I test fit the M8 hinge bolt. You can find a kit with these in it at Harbor Freight. The tongs work well, but to make them last, I paint them. When painting, proper surface preparation is key. I remove the rust with a wire wheel so the paint will stick well. All right, primer time. I coat only the areas on the tongs that will not be exposed to high temperatures. I use a washer hot glued to a bolt to keep overspray off the hinge contact patch. Then I spray high temperature paint on parts of the tong that may be exposed to high temperatures. After it dries, the high temperature paint needs to be cured at high temperatures. So I put the tongs in a makeshift addition to my furnace and follow the curing instructions on the can. The insulation for the makeshift addition to my furnace is rock wool that I got from Home Depot. After curing, I add a coat of ordinary spray paint and let it cure forever if you buy cheap paint like I did, or a couple days if you get the good stuff. All right, time for the finishing touches. I check if the bolt, nut, and washers are where they should be. I put blue thread locker on the bolts and nuts. I check the tightness of the joint. It should be tight enough so the joint doesn't wobble, but loose enough that the joint pivots freely. This will be difficult to fix after the thread locker cures. So the bolt needs to be tightened properly now. I add some lubricant on the joints and I let the thread locker cure for at least 24 hours before use. As you can see, the lifting tongs work well. The pouring tongs also do a great job. 
they're sturdy and have a better quality than a lot of tongs on the market. Tell me in the comment section if there's something that you would do differently or other foundry tools that you find useful and would like to see a build video for. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, and if not, let me know why in the comments. You're going to be reported going to be in the video. as offensive content if you put this. Offensive? It is offensive. I didn't even say one <laughs> fudge.